Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'll talk about FDA approves empagliflozin for reducing kidney disease progression in CKD patients. The US FDA has granted approval for empagliflozin 10 mg tablets to reduce the risk of sustained decline in estimated glomerular filtration rate or EGFR, end stage kidney disease, cardiovascular death, and hospitalization in adults with chronic kidney disease at risk of progression. This approval for isolated chronic kidney disease or CKD is primarily based on the results of the EMPA kidney trial. In the EMPA kidney trial, 609 adults with CKD and specific EGFR and urinary albumin to creatinine ratio criteria were randomly assigned to receive either empagliflozin or a placebo. After a median follow-up period of two years, the trial demonstrated a significant 28% relative reduction in the primary endpoints, a composite of kidney disease progression or death from cardiovascular causes in the empagliflozin group compared to the placebo group. Aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code or access the link in the description box below. The strong evidence supporting the effectiveness and safety of both dapagliflozin and empagliflozin in adults with isolated CKD led the Kidney Disease Improving Global Outcomes or KDGO organization to include a practice recommendation for SGLT2 inhibitor treatment in its draft 2023 updated guidelines for CKD management. The draft guidelines suggest treating adults with specific EGFR and albumin to creatinine ratio criteria with an SGLT2 inhibitor. Empagliflozin had already received FDA approval for three other indications, which is reducing the risk of cardiovascular death and heart failure hospitalization in adults with heart failure regardless of left ventricular ejection fraction, reducing the risk of cardiovascular death in adults with type 2 diabetes who also have known cardiovascular disease, and lowering blood sugar in adults and children aged 10 or older with type 2 diabetes when used alongside diet and exercise. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.